Hey counselors, welcome back. My name is Sara Gomez Taylor with Cascadia College and here we go, right? Um, I'm sure you're putting in all the work uh, as a mother of a young child, a daughter of educators. I know that on in normal circumstances, you are doing the work and extra. So I know that right now you're putting in way more than anyone could ever imagine. And I appreciate it. I know the students appreciate it, whether they can verbally express that or not right now, but you're doing great. So thank you for all you're doing. I'm gonna spend the next few couple minutes um, just kind of sharing some highlights of how we are pivoting in this new normal and look forward to seeing you soon in the virtual realm. All right, we're still here. We may not be on campus, but we are here. Uh, that means we are still accepting applications, um, really wanting to make sure students stay focused right now. I know that there, there's been a lot of talk of gap year, but really this is the time to stay with it. There is financial aid available. We have um, emergency grants available through our AROHA emergency grant. There's no application fee, uh, and we're all here to help students get set up. We know that even now, more than ever, they're missing out on that face-to-face -face interaction, and we have the best we can do, which is the virtual meeting space. So we have Zoom, um, outreach team has Zoom, admissions, uh, enrollment, any of our student service offices, there is an element of online support. So reach out to us, connect with us, and that's you too, counselors, not just your students, but you too. Um, not the band, you. <laughs> so meet us at uh, www.cascadia.edu slash virtual for all of those service schedules, links, etc. Okay, so as if we weren't trying to pivot enough during this virtual realm, we also launched a new student self-service portal uh, in June. So staff has been working extra to make sure that this experience is seamless for students so that they can manage their overall college experience from uh, application for admissions, registration, scheduling appointments, checking grades uh, up until graduation with accessing um, their their diploma. So really it's kind of this overall experience, uh, but we are working through some bugs and fixes, uh, but you might see this come up, um, or if you have any questions, don't hesitate. It really is for our students um, to have access to. And of course, we can't talk to you today without discussing Cascadia College and our COVID-19 practices. So as I mentioned earlier, we only have a few classes coming back this fall, uh, select lab classes. So we are preparing our campus to welcome these students in the most safe way possible. We have one entrance on campus, uh, only students who are signed up for a class as well as select staff and faculty um, will have access to a health attestation form that allows them entry into our building. Any visitors have to have a pre-scheduled appointment. Um, so yeah, we really are doing our best to make sure that the environment, is, the campus is safe and clean and accessible. Um, in again meeting all our guidelines and safety requirements from the state. If you have any questions or want to learn more about all those practices, you can check it out at www.cascadia.edu slash coronavirus. Again, we are here virtually, so please come and visit us. Please let us know what questions you have. Please let us answer those questions for you. You can check us out on Zoom. You can connect with us via email. 
Uh, we are also partnering with some other community and technical colleges uh, the next couple of months um, to offer four virtual fairs. So you can visit that tiny URL. I don't know which way this video is going to go. <laughs> and um, sign up to attend or have your students sign up to attend. And that's it. Here's our team. You've got myself, Sara, or Sara. You've got Nina, and you've got Mima. Nina is a student at UW Bothell and a former Cascadia student. Mima is a current Cascadia student. And we're all here to help you with questions, getting you connected, and finding those resources that you need. But most importantly, please always feel free to reach out uh, to outreach at cascadia.edu or my personal email, sgtaylor at cascadia.edu. Look forward to connecting with you soon. Take care.